My name is Michael. I'm in the tourist industry almost 20 years. Now we are operating here this hotel, which uh, used to be uh, our family vacation house, where our grandmothers used to live. Right now we transformed it uh, as a hotel, so guests can uh, visit our wonderful region and enjoy this uh, particular views, this uh, energy that uh, you can feel around the atmosphere, the clean air, uh, beautiful sunsets, and nature in general. We started the operation in December of 2015. We mainly work uh, during summer and holidays. A very basic circular project that we have is that we created a heating operation system that comes from three different uh, parts. One is the pump heater. The other one, we use the solar energy. We have the solar panels and uh, we have a biomass boiler. This means uh, that it's a boiler that we can uh, add inside anything that is burnable and produces energy for heating uh, water. We were the first ones who brought it here in the area. There were not people who knew how to construct it and how to put all the elements together to work. So we were working uh, very hard with a lot of personal research and everything to complete it. It's not a very complicated system and it works very nice. The one is supplementing uh, the other. Like this, we have uh, lower CO2 emissions and uh, we can uh, also uh, use uh, waste, especially wooden waste. So instead of someone dropping them away, we can take it and we can burn it and like this we, we use it uh, as heating um, supply. We have selected and constructed the swimming pool that it is actually made from recyclable materials. Everything is from recyclable material. It's uh, certified and awarded uh, for this uh, reason. And uh, instead of chemicals, it's operating with uh, salt electrolysis. Uh, this means that we add uh, inside the water an amount of uh, salt with a small uh, amount of uh, electricity that it's harmless to everyone, it's uh, zero point something ampere. It just uh, dissolves uh, the salt and produces free natural chlorium that it's perfect for uh, our skin, for our eyes, for everyone. Even people who have uh, serious allergies, they can use and uh, bath in this water and uh, they are just like perfect. It's like, uh, like a spa. We have a farm and uh, with uh, horses, with uh, chickens, uh, goats, rabbits, and okay, a lot of other animals, pets, dogs and cats as well, you know, just to have some fun. We don't only take care of the animals, but uh, we also cultivate uh, products uh, that we use here uh, in the hotel for our breakfast or uh, when we have some groups, we make some lunches or dinners with uh, our very own products. I'm here to explain you what we are doing here. It's about the circular gardening. We are planting according to the season, the seasonal crop that we want to harvest during the summer or during the winter and provide our guest house with plants. Everything that we follow here is ecological and completely biological. We are not using any chemicals or chemical fertilizing or uh, uh, anti-parasites, uh, anything that would kill uh, animals. We are planting tomatoes, we are planting peppers, we are planting uh, pumpkins, eggplants, cucumbers, uh, onions, carrots, uh, we are planting uh, garlic, everything that we could use uh, like uh, uh, to provide it uh, at the guest house during the morning to use them, uh, tomatoes, to use the tomatoes for example, to make some sauce or to make a, a salty pie with a, a tomatoes. Also, we preserve all of those. We are making like uh, salty tomatoes uh, where we preserve them into jars with oil. Uh, the idea, of course, is to provide to our guests something that is really natural, pure and of great taste. Even the seeds that we are using here, they are all traditional from our village. Uh, this is something that they quite appreciate when they get to taste them because they have a really good flavor. We are using uh, uh, the fertilizer from the horses, from the chickens that we are having, or fertilizing like we call it uh, the green fertilizer, we, where we are using plants uh, that help our main plants to grow better and uh, not have problems with diseases, not have problems with insects, and of course uh, always have food so that they will give us they will give us also their food and that way the chain the ecosystem 
continues to work on. Everything feeds from each other. And this is something quite nice, quite beautiful to see. Of course, it needs a lot of work to do, a lot of work, but uh, this contact with nature and working with your hands is the best thing for uh, our psychology, for our body also, because it's working a lot. And I would say that in the future, we have a great plan into promoting mostly how to treat with animals, how to treat with uh, agriculture to people who are coming here as our guests in order to be able to, with their own hands, touch the ground, touch the soil, and learn very precious information how to make the ecosystem work with the humans together for the better health and uh, both psychological, mental health and uh, for our bodies as well, to eat something good and to feel something good. And now we are going to feed the, the chicken with the leftovers from the breakfast. Chipa, 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 chipa. We give them food and they give us food. <laughs> Not for vegans. By implementing this uh, circular uh, project, uh, we found that uh, we can really decrease the cost, so you don't really need uh, financial uh, aid. For example, in my farm, where I have the horses and the rest of the animals, I constructed the buildings with materials. All of them were used. Some of them I found them in the garbage. Some of them I took them from people that they didn't need them. They were just thrown on the ground. Like this, I constructed some buildings that uh, the animals need. It's not very beautiful, but it works. It is safe for uh, the animals, it protects them. It makes part of the circular uh, project. This is uh, one of the most important things in a business. Okay, you have to keep low, uh, low cost, so you, you can get as much profit uh, as you can to sustain the business. I believe that even with uh, circular practices, uh, we don't do a lot for the environment because there is still a lot of objects that they are constructed from materials that they are not friendly for the environment. Even if it has less emissions, if it has less impact, it's helping a little bit the environment, but not what would be ideal for us, for this connection that we have. With, uh, because everything is uh, connected, the environment with us, and it's something that we should not forget. We people, we are connected with the environment and we need it. It's not the technology. It's not uh, the buildings, it's not, it's the environment by itself. I feel like uh, I'm doing the right thing. It's uh, very rewarding, uh, it makes me feel nice. I learn new things constantly, uh, because I like to read as well and make research. This is why I always research in uh, permacultural uh, sites, for example, to find more information. I can combine things uh, that I learn from studying to reality, to, and they start doing things. And, and while you create, it's very beautiful. This one is Proteas, Dione, Eolos, and Apache. These are the horses I'm taking care of. We live all together in the same land. And uh, with them, uh, we offer horse retreats to our guests and to other people who want to heal through the energy of the horses. My philosophy in keeping the horses is a natural horsemanship. This means that uh, they live always free. I never tie them somewhere. They always live free and they can choose whenever they want to enter inside their shelter to protect from the rain or snow or even from sun. And this is what uh, all the humans who have animals must focus on, to make their animals live as in nature. <laughs>